So the article is mainly about the types of translation. And translation is divided in between two groups. First is written translation and oral translation. Oral translation is also known as interpretation. Interpretation is divided into two main categories. That is called simultaneous interpretation and consecutive interpretation. Simultaneous interpretation suffers the disadvantage that the interpreter must do the best he or she can within the time permitted by the pace of source speech and that has the advantage of not taking the time and not disturbing the natural flow of the speaker. The most common form is extempore interpretation in which the interpreter doesn't know the message until he or she hears it. Simultaneous interpretation is appropriate in bilingual and multilingual meetings and has the advantage of not lengthening the meeting. Simultaneous interpretation requires a high level of concentration since the interpreter is doing several things at once. Listening and speaking, analyzing the structure of what is being said in order to present the speaker's argument, listening to his own arguments and interpretation to check for slips of the tongue. Interpreters, therefore, take turns of about 30 minutes. And about the consecutive interpretation. Consecutive interpretation can be conducted in two patterns of short and long segments according to interpreter's preference. In short consecutive interpretation, most interpreters rely on their memories, but whereas in long consecutive interpretation, most <clears throat> Interpreters rely on note-taking because note-taking is an essential part in long consecutive interpretation. Consecutive interpretation of whole thoughts rather than in small pieces is desirable so that the interpreter has the whole meaning of the speech of the speaker. And this affords a true, more accurate and more accessible interpretation rather than where short consecutive interpretation and simultaneous interpretation is used. So apart from that, there is one extra way of interpreting that is called whispered interpretation. Uh, sometimes it's called whispered simultaneous. It's the type of the interpretation in which the translator just sits behind the listener and doesn't normally whisper, but simply speaks softly using voiced speech. This necessitates very close proximity and can be tiring due to the posture adopted. And there are four main categories of interpreting that is where it is used. The first is conference and conference, judicial and escort and public sector. So the first is conference. Conference can be divided between two markets. First is institutional and the other one is um, private. International institutions such as European Union and United Nations uh, which hold multilingual meetings often favor interpreters uh, to translating uh, foreign several um, languages into their own mother tongues, whereas local private markets tend to have bilingual meetings and the interpreter work both into and out of their mother tongues. Next is judicial. Judicial, legal or court interpreting occurs in a court of justice or administrative tribunals or wherever a legal procedure is held. So the next one is escort interpreting. Escort interpreting sometimes is called escorting interpreter and in this interpreting the interpreter accompanies a person or on a delegation accompanies on a tour on a visit or an interview and on a meeting in this role the interpreter is called escort interpreter the first one is public sector also known as community translation community interpretation is the type of the interpretation in which the interpreter plays a main role on which Factors exist and which determine and affect language such as um, speech, emotional content, hostile or polarized social surroundings because in many cases the interpreter's degree of responsibility um, plays a main role, I mean more than extreme. In some cases even the other person's life depends upon the interpreter's work. So all in all, if, if we take into account the lack of my experience of on taking on experience in the practice in the interpretation I'm not sure right now which type of the interpretation I'll choose my as, as my future profession but however I can say that I'm interested in simultaneous interpretation because the lack of the interpreters who can translate simultaneously in, is increasing with rapid especially at conferences where the international conferences take place and 
therefore with interpreters who can translate from english right into uzbek and vice versa from uzbek right into english are becoming to be needed so uzbekistan has its own place among the world's most most famous countries and so i think uzbek language must be spoken in international conferences as it is state language of uzbekistan